Hello, my friends of Atari Labs. Uh, we are going to do a tutorial where we are going to export, okay, we are going to export the geological units and the folds, okay, as 3D objects, and we are going to represent that in a uh, preview. Okay, the geological modeling will be done in a quicker app, and we are going to cover all the process from uh, visualizing the input creating the geological model, simulating, and doing the 3D representation. Okay, so we are going to start from scratch. So we are going to... Okay, so first of all, you are going to receive in the description of this video, you are going to receive the, the zipped folder of uh, <coughs> the zipped folder that you have to extract under documents. Okay, it's important that you put it, you place it under documents, okay? Okay, and then let's go here to <coughs> Anaconda Pro CD documents CD export and here we will launch Jupyter Lab. Okay, why we launch Jupyter Lab? Because inside we have a visualization notebook that helps us to visualize the geological units, the orientations, and the sequence of uh, the strata. Okay, so let's see here. For this case, this visualization is work is using this working function, so our recommendation is that these two and as well the orientation points has to be in the same folder just to, to make it this uh, to make things easier okay okay so we plot we create the data frames uh, by default the legend layer is a little bit uh, small so we increase the size of the layer and then here we plot the Okay, if you don't have the required package, so you have to run this once. Okay, I have already installed PyVista on Jupyter, so I don't need it. Okay, and this is the representation. Okay, so here we have the fold. This is the fold. Okay, uh, well, the sometimes the, okay, the sandstone one is at the bottom. Yeah, but the, the colors sometimes are not that clear, okay? So I'm going to, okay. So every time that you run this cell, the color will be different. Or I guess it is. No. Every time that you run. Okay, we'll rerun everything again. Okay, when you rerun everything again, okay? So here we see the fold, okay, there we see sandstone 2, then we see sealstone, then we see shale, and then we see sandstone 1. Okay, for your case, the because the, the colors are random, so for your case, uh, it will be another colors as well, okay? Yeah, but the sequence is, <coughs> the sequence is fold, sandstone, Two, sealstone, shale, and sandstone one. This is the sequence. Okay, so with that sequence, we go here to aquifer. Lab.com. We log in. Okay. Okay, we create a new project, geology, geology, please, in this part of the whole day, please don't put any tildation, any space or so, and then in the description you can put 3D object, upload, okay, we go to edit, then we start a containerized app, we create a pod because this app is containerized.
okay okay so we can start zero seven hundred uh, zero two thousand zero two thousand zero seven hundred fifty and the resolution is the number of cells so it's fifty 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 we are not going to use topography and then we have one group of strata and one group of poles select then we start the orientation the orientations next then we start the point file okay sandstone one sandstone two shade and sealstone okay the main fold is type of fold and the sequence is the sandstone one is the number one sandstone two is the number one the sandstone is the number two the shale is number three and the sandstone one is number four okay where does it come from it come from from this sequence okay okay it came here okay okay so this is the structural frame and we can see the plots okay and as well here you can see the uh, different value <clears throat> okay let's interpolate okay it's interpolate it's on the interpolation okay i will delete all i have on my downloads order to recreate what you are going to see. Ah. Okay, it's still interpolated. Okay, now we have results. So let's see our results. Okay, so we have the results. Okay, these are representation. But this tutorial is about creating 3D objects. Okay, so where we can get the 3D object. When you run, okay, the model, you actually create those, the VTKs, okay, However, these BTK objects are not, uh, how to say, those BTK objects are not uh, plotted, but those are created. So if you download the project, when you download the project, you download everything of the project. So what does it mean? So you download the input data, that is the file that you have inserted. You have also the scripts that runs the GenPy, okay? So that is why we talk about GenPy because here you have the GenPy scripts, okay? And there is a working function that is also required for the VTK generation that it has to be at the same level, okay? So these are the GenPy scripts that you can run uh, in locally as well. And then we have the image data where we have the cross sections, okay, with the lithology and without the lithology, but we have as well the VTKs, okay? So we are going to open Paraview. We are going to open Paraview. Mm -hmm. And Paraview has has this tool of uh, that we can drag the files and it will appear here for example this is the lithology and then you will tell me oh there is no lithology here and this is false why this is false because you have to put the lithology as a surface okay so this is the lithology and here we have the different surface we have surface one and surface one is the fold, surface, sorry for zero, surface one is the bottom of the first layer, the bottom of the second layer, the bottom of the third layer, and the bottom of the fourth layer. In Paraview, you can also open the files with 
this option, but uh, this drag and drop means uh, it's more practical. Okay, so the lithology we are going to change. We are going to change the the uh, by citrus step. Okay, apply close. Okay, and then we are going to do a cross section in the white normal apply. Okay, great. Um, for example, I can represent this as uh, this will be green. This will be pale green. Not that more pale okay this will be yellow and this will be orange no yellow This will be orange. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this will be okay. Great. So here we see, and then let's see. Let's give some opacity of zero point five, zero point eight to all of them. Okay, and that is great. So here you see a nice representation of the geological units on BTK format. Okay, great. So that's it, and uh, and this is the the end of the tutorial. Um, we hope that you. I mean, our recommendation is that you follow the tutorial through here. Okay. And once you have follow, you can apply this to your own data. Okay, we are going to deliver more tutorials and more applied cases on GenPy with Aquifer app. Okay, and as you see, the, the there is a lot of uh, potential on the tool. And what we wanted is that this type of exercise will be as easy as possible. Okay. Have a, please have a great day, follow us and share our app if you like it.